Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness. So here we've come through um, into Thorn's realm, and of course we have, you know, we're naked and weaponless and all that good stuff. Dragons herd captives around the corner. We'll need a, need a few humans. We can kill the leftovers. There will be provisions enough when the battle begin when the battles begin. Ooh. Looks like there's some people who have to save. Uh, I wonder which way they went. I think I'll go this way. Dumped in the corner is the rotting corpse of a Kyrin. There's also a pile of what must be the captive's belongings. Score! Uh, let's go ahead and detect magic. Let me detect magic with her. Oh, uh, some non-magical junk. Okay, so... Uh, banded mails. There is plate mail, so let's take the plate mail. And oh, you know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna take it all at once. Do, 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 do. At least everything that I can. All right. Uh, let me see what I got. I'm gonna pause it while I rearrange items. Okay. I've uh, distributed my items, <coughs> the crappy items that they are. And, uh, let's go over this way. Prisoners in the cells reach their hands through the bars to call to you. And call to you. Do you help them? Yes, I do. You release all the prisoners. Do, do, do. The prisoners crowd about you, offering praise and thanks. A tall, sharp-featured woman eyes you from beyond the crowd. Do you approach her? Yes. The woman approaches. Wait, I approached her. What? She introduces herself as uh, Rizel and tells you her story. This is recorded as Journal Entry 72. She is around here somewhere. Rizel speaks. Before the storms began, I was taken from a prison in Flan. Even the best of thieves find themselves in prison once in a while, but to be held as fodder for the dragons is too much for me. I escaped a few days ago and was looking to take a few things in payment for my troubles. But it hasn't been easy. I've never seen the likes of this dragon, Thorn. Nasty isn't the word for him. Plus, I've heard he has the horn of a beast from beyond this world, and that's how he makes the, sp the storms. Some say the creature's spirit haunts the cave. Others say the realms will face certain doom if the horn is heard three times. But I have a plan to exact my revenge. Depriving the dragons of their treasure will be a far greater revenge than killing them. It occurs to me, however, that should we team up against them, we could liberate even more treasure. I show you the ways of this cave, and you provide some insurance in case we run into any nasties. The dragons owe me for the past month, so I get first claim on any treasure. But there will be enough for all. So, she thinks that taking the treasure from the dragons will, uh, um, I don't know, I guess weaken them or something? I don't know. Anyway. I'll help, but only on my terms. All the treasure I can carry. Agreed? Sure, why not? Congrat. Oh, Lord. Let's see what she is. Oh, I want your stuff, and how the heck is she equipped with two sets of arrows? Give me your stuff! Sheesh. Alrighty. Well, let's move on. You stumble upon a group of rogues. Really? She's a nice combat icon, though. Alright, well, let me pause it while I take care of this random encounter. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what I get. Um, first of all, I just want to uh, say that uh, I really hate it when games... Um, set the difficulty level by screwing with your party, like, you know, taking your stuff. Uh, so, lots of elf and chain, short swords, and sling. So, okay, let's see, I've already got... Let me go ahead and, uh... Okay, let's take slings for everyone, just so that I can do a little bit of ranged damage if necessary. And she's not going to be able to use one, she's not going to be able to use one, she already has one, but let's see if it's better. 
<clears throat> and let's take the elfin chain, elfin chain, elfin chain. I will have him take the javelins and let's see, short sword. 1d6 plus 15. 1d6 plus 15, so that's the same thing. Let's trade that to him. 1d6 plus 11. 1d6 plus 12. Take one of these short swords. One D eight plus six. That's yeah, one D two plus six, so one D six plus nine. Uh what did I do with that? I thought I took another I thought I had another one. Oh, there it is. What did I do? I traded something then. I don't know. Um, well, that's not going to be any better. 8. Okay. Uh, let's take a short sword. And let's see, negative 3. Negative 1. Okay, so that sucks. Let's see, 1d4 plus 4, 1d4 plus 2, so that sucks, but I at least have that short sword, okay. Yeah, I'll leave everything else. <clears throat> a dragon is stuffing treasure into a hole, muttering to itself, I'll not, I'll not leave my treasure unprotected. What do you do? What the heck? The dragon whirls in surprise, scattering its treasure. Oh, I meant to move her. Oh well. Let's see, what do we got? Red dragon. Oops. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Let's cast a magic missile. Yay! You search the hole and find a modest hoard. Let's see what I got. Oh, bracers. Give those to her. Uh, I got a silver shield. I'll take the long sword. Uh, let's take the mace and the flail. Got a ring of some kind, so I'll take the ring. Um, I'll take the that, and I will take the arrows. Let's see, eh. Alright, the altar, order. I'll move her up there. Okay. Uh, let's see what I got. Okay, 1d6 plus 15. 1d8 plus 16, that's good. And equip the shield. I didn't give him anything. Her. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's see, negative 2. Let's see if that... Negative 2, okay, so that's not a... Um, uh, ring of protection. So what did she get? Fire resistant. Ooh. Oh, I actually want to trade that to Ald. Okay, let's unclip the club. Maces, 1d6 plus 11. Flail is 1d6 plus 11. What is the club? 1d6 plus 6. So I think these are plus 4. 
Um, let's give it to her. Six plus nine. One d six plus eleven. Okay. And did she get anything? No, she didn't. Okay. All right. Um, let me check to see where I can rest. Uh. Well, there's a place that I can rest soon, so that's good at least. Small rocks tumble down the wall as a tremendous horn blast splits the air. Oh crap. Rizal stops short. The Horn of Doom! It has begun sooner than I thought. Well, okay. Rizal stops and looks north, then south. Thorn's lair lies to the north, but a treasure hoard is to the south. We may have just enough time to grab a little booty before visiting Thorn. Yeah, actually that would be a no. Um, uh, okay, I think I'll have to skip the uh, room that I can rest in. Yeah, let's skip that. Let's go north. Rizal points to the west wall. A hidden door in that wall leads us to Thorn. Ooh. Thank you. I find a secret door in the west wall. An old man crouches in the corner, clutching a sword. He rushes up to you. Are the dragons dead? Is the Chiron free? The man looks at you looks to you with desperate hope. When he finds that the dragons are still gathering, he tells you that he has been trapped for weeks, since Thorn captured the Chiron he was serving. He explains how the Chiron moved against the source of the storms, sensing their evil nature, only to meet its death. The man shrugs and gives something. It may help me more if you had these. Yay, treasure! Well, I will take the helm, and let's see what the trident is. Trident plus four. I'll give it to him. Alright, let's see. 1d6 plus 12. 1d6 plus 14. That's good. And the helm is... Whew, that's some armor class there. <coughs> okay. So we got some items. More items, I should say. Although it would be really nice if I could, could have brought my own items. Rizal tugs at your arm. A treasure is stashed in a vault to the east. Surely there's enough time to retrieve it before the Horn of Doom sounds again. E no. So let's go north. The Horn of Doom sounds for the second time. When the reverberations die, all is silent as if the world holds its breath. Rizal curses under her breath. There'll be no time for treasure hunting now. Dragons appear. They hiss. Thieves! Oh, great. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, There's just two of them, I guess. Let's go with Magic Missile. Let's go with... Flame Strike. Yay! Let's hope I can hit it. Yes, I can. Only 16 points of damage, though. Yeah, I'll cast a magic missile. I should kill it. Yay! No treasure. Alright. Rizal points to the west wall. A hidden door in that wall will lead us to Thorn. You find the outline of a door on the west wall. Dragons have gathered here, preparing for the final blast from the Horn of Doom. The dust raised from their beating wings nearly blinds you. They turn their fury on you. Oh, great. Uh, 
<sighs> I miss my good items. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, I think that's. I hope that's only four. Yep. Okay. Good. Let us go with delete blast fireball. I will definitely have to save more of these. Save the last one of these. Ooh. Yay. All right. That's what I like to see. Let's see, 29 and 33. Well, oh, shoot. Oh, I should have cast it. Ah, crap. Ouch. Oh, crap. Oh, good. There's a room that I can rest in here. Continue battle? No. No treasure. Golden light seeps out under the western door. The spirit of a Kyrin fills the room with a warm glow. A great wound gapes where its horn once was. Noble hearts, with what remains of my power, I have secured this room for you. Sweet! And with that, I'll end the video, and in the next video we should be going up against Thorn himself.